I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. My exams. Not a one of them deserves more than a tank. Rebellion. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is Lumos. worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse, Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. 
The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Incendio! Let me out, son! What do you have in store for me this time? Let me out, son! Good freedom! Incendio!
Lumos. Lived here, I wonder. Revelio. Incendio. I'm glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Daddy, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all.
Revelio. to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Dead end. Must be another way in. Looks as if it might raise the gate. Do it. This way. I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... <gasps> I hear them. Yes! Restrain the face! Hi Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Get these things back to me now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blasted! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Rebellion! I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Huh? 
Revelio. Not the safest place to sneak into. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Aloha Mora. You're going home in a wooden box! Let me out, so! Descend! Ah! Here's the team! Descend! Oh, Fuck! Ha! 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 Aloha Mora.
Rebellion. I wing. It's all right. There we go. There you are. Come on. A lot of more. Hurry. Hogwarts Express must be returning from an unscheduled run. Incredible, isn't it? Exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you.
master. Please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. the post yeah. Lumos. Rebellion. Seems we may have it. You've made a mistake. Glaciers. Oops. Thought we'd forget about that goblin helm you nicked. Let me out, Shadow. You're here to show me some dark magic, are you? Akio. <laughs> Rebellion. 
One less poacher in the wizarding world. Repair her! Revelio. Revelio. Leviosa. Leviosa. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio.
find you. Place it. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Rebellion. Rebellion. Place has seen better days. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Help me afford this rather exotic snake contraption. Very Salazar, isn't it? Thank you! Enjoy the show! If things keep going as they are. Historically speaking, there's never been a team like this year's calendar. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. That looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion.
by whenever you're about. I miss the old credit card. Duncan owes his reputation to you.
Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Rebellion. Rebellion.
How nice to see you, my young friend. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Rebellion! Incendio! Tobbs' master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio. Confringo. Incendio. Rebellion. It looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Incendio.
Rebellion. Incendio. Place Incendio. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Oh no. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Good for you. Revelio. Rebellion. The table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave.
I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. <laughs>